Good morning, my dear students. Today we'll, we will complete our story, Little Red Riding Hood. But before start reading, I want you to remember with me what happened last time. So last time, Little Red Riding Hood went to her grandmother's house, but she, f she heard a very strange voice. After she entered the house, she asked her granny, what big ears you now have? She told her, or Mr. Wolf said, I can hear you better with big ears, and you have got big eyes too. Mr. Wolf said, I can see you better with big eyes, and then you have got a big mouth too. Little Red Riding Hood said, Mr. Wolf answered, I can eat you better with a big mouth. And he jumped out of bed and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, do you know what's the meaning of swallowed? Swallowed means to eat something and finish eating it. Okay, so he swallowed Little Red Riding Hood. Then he lay down and went to sleep. As he slept, he snored loudly. Snored means, you know, the voice that you make while sleeping. A loud voice you made while sleeping. That's the meaning of snored. Okay. Look at the picture, you, we will find a picture of a man who is in uh, the grandmother's house and he is trying to kill Mr. Wolf. So this man is called here in the story the woodcutter. Woodcutter, someone who cuts the wood, okay? So soon a woodcutter came to the cottage and cottage means small house. He had some wood for the old lady's fire. He heard snoring, so he opened the door and looked inside. He saw Mr. Wolf asleep on the bed. So this woodcutter, he uh, came to the little house because he was uh, uh, giving the old lady some wood for the fire. Okay, but he couldn't find the old lady and he saw Mr. Wolf. So he is so full of food that he will not wake up want will not okay so he won't wake up perhaps he ate the old lady so the woodcutter is thinking or uh, he's thinking where is the grandmother so most probably he uh, mr wolf ate the old lady so i won't shoot him shoot you know the sh uh, to shoot something with a gun okay so I won't shoot him, I will cut him open. So he wants to cut his belly. Perhaps the old lady is alive inside. Maybe the old lady is still alive, she didn't die. So the woodcutter cut open Mr. Wolf immediately. Uh, so the woodcutter cut open Mr. Wolf immediately. It means very quickly. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother jumped out of the wolf's belly. So, I was so f afraid, Little Red Riding Hood said. It was very dark. Dark, it means no light inside the belly. It's very dark, bl just black. And it smelled bad. There is a very bad smell inside the uh, uh, Mr. Wolf's belly. Okay? We have another picture. We have the grandmother, if you can see, the grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood, and beside them, the woodcutter. Day two, the old lady said. Then she asked the woodcutter, what will you do to Master Wolf? I shall fill his belly with stones. You know the stones? The, uh, it's similar to the rocks. Okay? So he will fill his belly with stones, then when he wakes up, he means uh, Mr. Wolf, when Mr. Wolf wakes up, he will not be able to move, he will never be able to eat again, and he will die. So the woodcutter filled Mr. Wolf's belly with stones, then Little Red Riding Hood, her grandmother and the woodcutter sat is the past of sit they sat down together and ate the cakes do you remember the cakes yes 
the same. So when Mr. Wolf woke up, he jumped out of bed, but the stones in his belly were so heavy, he fell to the floor, he lay there until he died. That's the end of the story. Before uh, finishing this, I want to tell you that there is a very important question. What did Mr. Walt do to Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother? So Mr. Walt ate them. Okay, so the second question is what did the woodcutter do to save Little Red Riding Hood and the grandmother? So here the woodcutter cut open Mr. Walt's belly. Immediately, Little Red Riding Hood jumped out of it, okay? So this is what did the woodcutter do to save Little Red Riding Hood and the grandmother. I hope you understood the lesson. See you next time.